All right, so here I am at a specialist of vintage Toyota Land Cruisers. And man, oh man, this guy, he knows what he's talking about. He knows these Land Cruisers, he's with a Land Cruiser club. I'm very impressed. I had a feeling when I asked him, like, what was the engines that he's, did they come in four cylinders and six cylinders? And he said, yes. I think after the early 80s, though, I'm not sure they had sixes, or they didn't have fours, they just had sixes, something like that. And uh, look at this here, eh? It's got the, uh, the mirror covers, I think, on the headlights. Ah. Like that with the spotlights, nice touch, just like a Jeep. I, he says to me, he says, yeah, but you sure you want to film them in the snow? I said, yeah, but there's a lot of viewers, you know, they're from the states or southern states. They don't ever see snow, so it just, you know, it adds to the video. You know what I mean? Now, he told me, these two guys here, they're from uh, 89. Uh, he taught me something because I didn't know that they made this design uh, that late into the 80s, you know? And uh, look at that rust on that one, eh? She's working. I guess that's his plow truck. Oh yeah, rusted to shit. Still going, eh? Shows the quality. <clears throat> now there's only one uh, one of these uh, Land Cruisers that's for sale, and um, oh, and uh, you're gonna see here in a moment. Yeah, it's interesting because uh, this, tr this truck is really rusted, but. Looks like it's got a really clean interior. Fuck, it's got power windows even. Yeah. That's great. Hmm. Yeah, they're all pretty rusty. This Corvair Wild would say rusted. Yeah. I'd love to ride in one of these, you know? I can see why they're so popular. I mean, four-wheel drive vehicles, they're all popular, you know? But, uh, I would really uh, like to see what they're like, you know, ride-wise. Never rode in a Land Cruiser or any Land Cruiser. Let the gentleman go by here. It's fitting also like so many garages, you know, a mechanics garage that these, these old Japanese made trucks are uh, parked at an old garage. Look at this bad boy here. This looks like the Toyota equivalent of a Ram for Christ's sake, eh? For sale. Look at this old Land Rover, man. Holy shit, this thing must be from the 80s. I should have asked him what year this is from. And this model over here is especially for you, Pete, aka Sofa Chips. It's a 76, man. With a really weird freaking bumper. It's for sale, man. $22,000. 37 grand invested in this. And the gentleman, like I said, who owns this garage, he restored this. Yeah. Well, it's really a lot of snow, but I'm going to try to get a peek here. Oh yeah, it's A1. A1. Yeah, I've always had a, a little interest in these, and obviously with the, uh, you know, the way cars are today, they're so freaking boring. Christ, these are neat, you know. <laughs> the best 4x4 four by, four by far. Hmm. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention, this thing has a 350 in it, man. 350 crate motor, 300 horsepower. Jesus Christ, this thing must fly. It must fly. Oh. Ah, so that's about it. I really gotta take a whiz, so take it easy. And 
Oh yeah, let's just get one last shot around here. So, if you're in Quebec, or anywhere for that matter, this is the guy to go to. Look, he's the Land Rover Special, ah, excuse me, Land Cruiser Specialist. But he seems to like Land Rovers too, so. There you go.